Howdy YouTubers. All right, today I'm going to make this video on how you can actually get two builds onto the same app ID inside of Steamworks. It's been a vague topic. I know I've seen a lot of questions on how to go about this, a lot of help. And then for me personally, contacting Steamworks and it was still vague. So definitely wanted to make this to help others out. And if you have a different solution, definitely post them in the comments. We'll be glad to review them to see which way is a better way of going about this. So, uh, to demonstrate, uh, Cristela, this is our upcoming game title on April 20th. When I hit play, I have a standard and I have a HD version. That's going to be the premise of this video today. How I can get two builds onto my same app ID for my players to basically download and play. Now... Definitely you need to be able to know how to go about this or you should have a good grasp about how to add your game to get it in the review process or get it launched. And if you haven't done that already, I definitely would suggest looking up videos. There's a lot of them out there or one in particular. And he actually goes about the process of how to get your like Unity files to work with Steam. So definitely check those out. To start, I'm going to go ahead, uh, logged into Steamworks. I'm going to go to my Cristelo HD page, or the Cristelo page. I'm going to go ahead, going to go to Edit Steamworks Settings. And the first one we're going to go ahead and do is the Depot. For me, personally, I, what I did is I did two Depots. One's for my regular content, and the other one is for my HD content. This, uh, the name naming convention here doesn't matter. Your customers are not going to see this. So you can name it accordingly how you want. It just makes it to where it's easier for you to know what is what you're doing. And to add a new depot, you just basically add, click add new depot, name it, you're done. To make sure that this saves, you can always do a publish before going on to the next steps. I encourage it because that's what I do to make sure that I don't have to redo the depot again. It was kind of a pain. The next thing is we want to go to the builds. And you want to create a new app branch. Uh, what I did is this name is important because your customers do see this from what I've been told. So make sure that when you do this, you name it accordingly. And in the description, you can put whatever you want. I put contains normal and HD versions. And then if you want to add a password, you can add a password. Now the build ID is going to put set to zero until it's put into a build. So don't worry about that. The main thing that you do need to worry about is when you go to your SDK, go to your content folder first. I see, I'll show you that real quick. So SDK tools, content builder, and the one we want to do is content. For me, I have two different subfolders. One's window content and the other one is an HD content. That allows, when I go to my scripts, go to my app, and uh, in here, the app ID, which is, let's go ahead and minimize that. Sorry about that. Uh, that matches that. You want to make sure that's accordingly and then when you go to your depot you want to make sure that in here you uh, for me personally what I like doing is I like running the if I go here if I run the build I have it do each one separately uh, that for me helps me out but if you want to try making it to where it does both depots at the same time definitely i encourage you to do that it may be say it may it might save you time in a way so definitely uh when for me when you do the one run the build once it's done gets it onto the page do the other one so on and so forth and then in the scripts again i have two depot built and then that's where i'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you Basically, the depot ID is here, and then I tell the content route to look into this uh, location and to grab the actual content in this local path. And then I do that with the other one, the uh, 
682. When you run the build and you get it uh, accordingly, it's onto the same page. This is where you want to make sure that you'll you'll see them right here. They will show up as 682, 681, or however your depot's IDs are. These are going to be distinct to your applications. What you'll do is you'll basically uh, you'll put them into your uh, app branch. When you go to view preview, it will basically say, do you want to set that live? You want to say yes. And what that will do is when you do that to the both, it will basically merge the two into one content folder. And then as you see how it's highlighted there. And then if you have like older versions, you to keep them neat and tidy, you can just click on the name and then remove the build. And once you have that, go to installation, go to general. And then here you want to have two launch options. The reason for that is that will allow your customers to know which one to basically launch. For me, the executable, that's the exe file for the, if you like Unity for your application or Unreal Engine. And you want to make sure that that has the name accordingly to what the exe file's name is that you put. In here, after I edited it, I put it to launch options. So I did mine as option one, Cristelo standard version. Windows, any, because it's made for Windows. The second option is the HD version. I name it that, and then I put Windows, any. After you're done, you want to go ahead and you want to publish. Make sure that you, uh, I'll show you real quick. Prepare for publishing, publish to Steam, put Steamworks into here, hit publish, it will then publish. Now, for your customers to get that new app ID or any of this stuff, you want to go back into here. You want to go to all associate packages and you want to click on beta testing and the Cristelo developer, or you want to click on both in a way. I'm sorry. Add the new depot that you just made. It will save that. Don't worry. And then for me personally, because what I like to do to make sure that this gets pushed to my customers is I go to in Steamworks, hit the edit, go and publish that as in there as well. And then afterwards, in here, you want to, you'll have you should see your game because this, if you're the admin, you should automatically get a copy of that to you. You want to right click on this, go to your properties. Go under betas and you want to make sure, because it'll set to none, make sure that you set it to your uh, your content of what it contains and then you want to hit check code. If you don't, if it doesn't have a password, don't worry, it's going to recognize that. But if you do have a password, you have to put that password in here. Afterward, what it'll do is it will basically state, okay, I'm updating. Once that's updated, when you hit play, that's when, if you followed everything correctly and no errors occurred, you should have Crystal. You should, for me, that I have Crystal standard version, Crystal HD version, and then I can play whichever one. So, like for this one, if I hit Crystal HD version, hit play. Let this uh, go out in a way. Let it load. There we go. And here we are, have the game. I'm gonna go ahead and hit excellent now. And then to show you if I hit play again, go to my standard version, hit play. You'll notice the names convention is different to tell my customers what it is. And then Cristela, standard. Awesome. So definitely, that is how to actually go about adding two different builds onto the same app ID without having to pay that $100 per fee. That, yeah, that would be tremendously unhelpful <laughs> or frustrating, I should say. And definitely, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps me out to create more content like this for, to help others out in situations where it's frustrating and there's not that much work about of how to actually go about it. 
And another way of support is if you want to, definitely go ahead and check out our Cristillo page. We're going to have this launched on April 20th of 2019 at a retail price of $14.99. Uh, definitely is going to help us out as game developers getting into as I like indie type studios and overall it's it's a really fun concept basically you guide a ball or sphere his name's Orbert and you, what you're supposed to do is go through each level solve the puzzles and stuff and get to the end where you basically rescue the princess woohoo all right. Well, thank you again for watching my video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll be glad to help any way I can. Otherwise, take care and talk to you later.